Hello and welcome back to the heart of racing, your YouTube channel dedicated to the sport of horse racing. Now I've had a week away in Barcelona which was absolutely fantastic, as you can see I couldn't pick up a tan, it wasn't quite that hot out there, um, but fantastic nevertheless. But a lot's happened in the racing world since I've been away in terms of the racing news um, and also some of the results that have come out of some of the big races. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go through some of that news quickly and then get into some of my selections for Thursday and Friday. Right, let's start off with some Cheltenham Festival news and a bit of sad news really, the fact that Fizzlecrack will not be running in the Cheltenham Gold Cup and he's a lot of people's bankers um, for the uh, Cheltenham Festival. He wasn't mine but a lot of people had him down as a certain winner. Um, and don't get me wrong, a fantastic horse and I cannot wait to see him back around Christmas time from what the Tizards have said. Um, it's very upsetting, but the betting has obviously changed massively since the um, departure of Fiskrack from the race. Native River 5-2, to two. if you were a Fiskrack backer, I'd probably move on to Native River now and probably one of the better horses in the race um, at 5-2. to two. Q card, very impressed for Ascot the other weekend, 3-1. to one. Jackadam, 9-2, to two. Willie Mullins this week said this horse will run the race of his lifetime. So definitely one to note down, especially with Willie Mullins saying stuff like that. And Outlander, 8-1, to one, still won those horses um, that I think should go very well. And still 8-1, to one, a very good each way price. I got him a lot bigger than that, um, at around 16-1. to one. So a very, very competitive field now that uh, Fizz cracks out. And I'd love to know who you guys think is going to be the winner. So feel free to comment down below who the winner of the Gold Cup is going to be. Now, another bit of sad news to do with the Cheltenham Festival. And Barry Garrity will not be riding at the Cheltenham Festival. And it's so sad to hear this. He took a horrible fall on Charlie Parks at the weekend and uh, broke a few ribs and punctured a lung. And I know a few people who have uh, broken ribs and also I've known a few people who have punctured lungs. I know it's really, really hard and really painful. So definitely not going to be at the festival and we wish Barry Garrity all the best of his recovery. However, who's going to be taking over as JP's main man during the festival? Mark Walsh is his main man over in Ireland. He's going to be at the festival but will he get all of these um, rides for some of the English trainers, Nicky Henderson, Paul Nichols? Will he get those rides? I'm not too sure but um, definitely in, in with a shout. You've also got Richard Johnson who's had a few rides for um, JP McManus in the past and champion jockey, well he's going to be champion jockey this season so he's another one that definitely to consider. Aidan Coleman could be the man though, I think Aidan Coleman, he's also had a few rides for JP and I do think that Aidan Coleman is top man and the one that could send some of these horses home. Um, in front. So Aidan Coleman's going to be my pick. This is my opinion. Don't leave it down in the comment section saying oh, what do you know? You're rubbish. You're all this. Because that's what I got on my last video. There's no need for it. I have my opinion. Someone said that Vroom Vroom Mag will never run in the Gold Cup. Am I stupid? Um, however, Vroom Vroom Mag did have an entry for the Gold Cup this year um, and may even go for it next year. So don't be surprised. If you didn't go in the Gold Cup, you could go in another chase at the Cheltenham Festival. Um, but these are my opinions, so don't give me any hate down below because it's not needed. It doesn't bother me, but the fact that you are giving it, there's no need for it. If you want to ask a question, ask a question I'll give you my opinion. Um, but there's no need for any hate down in the comment sections. But Aidan Coleman, definitely my man for JP McManus. Um, AP McCoy, definitely not going to be the man, obviously, but I bet he's thriving to ride some of these um, JP horses. They're absolutely flying at the moment. Um, but AP McCoy will be on the ITV racing team for the Cheltenham Festival giving his opinion so definitely one to look forward to there. Let's move on to a bit of Grand National talk and I have mentioned this in a previous video just before I went away but Eddie and Michael O'Leary had hit at the uh, BHA head of handicapping Phil Smith um, for the way he's dealt with some of the Gigginstown horses in the Grand National and the weights he's given. A lot of the Gigginstown horses have been put right at the top of the weights and I don't think the O'Leary's think it's that fair. Now the horses that have been pulled out, and these were pulled out on Wednesday, um, are Outlander, Don Polly and Empire of Dirt. And Don Polly I thought was going to run the race of his life and win the Grand National. He's out. Outlander was obviously announced that he won't be running in the race on the well night of the weight launch and Empire of Dirt another one that should have gone well in the Grand National be interesting to see where Empire of Dirt goes next but the fact they've hit out this bad and they've pulled horses out it seems like a bit of a protest um, and a bit of an ongoing thing still though the Gigginstown horse that's in there 
that I do think that's in with a massive shout, and I said this in a previous video, is Road to Riches. He's still my pick for the Grand National, um, and when I watched him in the Irish Gold Cup, it just looked like he was thriving for just that little bit more in terms of distance. So my horse and my pick for the Grand National at the moment would be Road to Riches in the Gigginstown Colours. Okay, now a little bit of news and a bit of history from France now, and the jockey Delphine Santiago, I think that's how you pronounce her name, um, she's ridden the first winner out in France with the new 2 kilogram allowance. Now, whether this allowance should be in place, it's, you know, 50-50, it's up to you. I personally don't think it needs to be there to show how good female jockeys are, but some people think it's given female jockeys a chance. Congratulations to her for creating history and for riding this first winner, but personally I still don't think it's needed um, and I'm not sure how long this will go on for. Okay, my first selection, this is for Thursday and it's the 7.25 at Chelmsford. Now the horse I want to go for is Peak Sue for Willie Mullins, ridden by Mr. Ryan Moore. Now it's great to see some of the jockeys, the bigger jockeys, coming back over um, from various different countries and riding some of these horses. Got Osan riding at Chelmsford, you've got Ryan Moore, you've got Jamie Spencer in this race, Joe Fanning, Adam Kirby, you've got some of the top men in this race. The Peak Sue, it's very interesting that Willie Mullins has sent a runner to Chelmsford. Um, was the Queen Alexandra winner um, in 2014 at Ascot and definitely one of my picks here. He hasn't had the best of form recently, but if finding that form um, that he has done in the past, definitely one to watch for over two miles for Willie Mullins. Um, and Ryan Moore as a booking is a massive positive for this horse. Don't get me wrong, winning story, the 11-8 to favourite. Probably going to go very well for Saeed Bin Sarua and Osan Murphy on board. Um, Osan actually having a fair few winners for Saeed Bin Sarua at the moment. Um, but 11 to 8 the favourite currently. Watersmeet 3 to 1. Um, got a fair handicap to be fair. Looks pretty um, good in the weights um, and should go well. Um, and calling out who's top of the weights for David Simcock and Jamie Spencer. Now quite a good team here um, at 6-1. to one. And that may be my second pick. So I don't want to go for the two favourites, um, Winning Story or Watersmeet. I want to stick with Peak Sue as my first pick and calling out as my second pick at the top of the weights. So do have a look at that race at the 7.25 at Chelmsford. Okay, now Clonmel over in Ireland, the 350, which is a handicap hurdle, and the horse that's making his debut in a handicap, and I love a horse that makes a debut in a handicap, um, definitely one that catches the eyes, is optimised for Gordon Elliott, ridden by Brian Cooper in the Gig in Style Colours, currently 5-1. to one. Now, I really do love um, Gordon Elliott and the Brian Cooper partnership. Brian Cooper, great to see him back riding as well. Um, and definitely one that's going to have a fair few winners at the Cheltenham Festival this year, I'm pretty sure of that. But Optimise, um, number four, horse number four, so pretty high up in the weights, but still with a fair chance in pretty modest company to be honest. Um, but five to one, Gordon Elliott, Brian Cooper, Gigginstown Colours, Optimised in the 350 at Clonmel. Ok now on to my final pick and we're going to go to Newbury and the 2.10 um, and Charlie Parks is entered into this race, it's a class 4 hurdle, um, Charlie Parks obviously taking that fall like I said earlier on in um, the video, uh, he took that fall last weekend and a bit of a horrible fall really um, and Nicky said he's been schooling well, whether he'll go for this race I'm not too sure. Um, but it might be that Nicky's just going to try and get that run in, a decent run in before Cheltenham to get that confidence back. But I really do doubt that Charlie Parks will run in that race. However, the pick that I do want to give, who may be a certain runner, is in the 420, which is a handicap hurdle. And I'm going to give Prout's Pub a little chance here for Nick Gifford. This horse has always run at Fontwell. All the times that I've seen him run have been at Fontwell. Um, and he's had plenty of races there and a couple of decent winners there as well and I do think this could be the shout, he's well handicapped um, and could be up there in the placing, some, hopefully at a big price really um, you've got some decent horse in there at the top of the uh, weights you've got Grape Tree Flame for Peter Bowen um, and also Hadfield for Neil Mulholland who's an, another fantastic horse. Hello George for Philip Hobbs. Some decent runners in here but I think Prout's Pub, the way it's been handicapped, I think it could be given a shot here to go a lot better than it has done in the past. So Prout's Pub in the 420 at Newbury. 
Right, thanks for watching The Heart of Racing. It's been a pleasure to have you here for Thursday, Friday Fever. Um, please do leave a comment down below on anything you think I can change or anything new you want me to do. Um, I've had a lot of comments recently. If they're negative, I do read them, but I usually ignore them. But if they're positive or constructive criticism, I do take them on board and I do try and make these videos sharper. And I'm going to start looking at making these videos a lot more different in the next couple of weeks. So thank you to those who have commented um, positive stuff down below. Please do follow us on Twitter at Heart of Racing. Um, good way of getting our videos on alert. So go on to Twitter, follow at Heart of Racing, and stick notifications on. It will alert you every time. Um, we upload on our channel so definitely one to do uh, our snapchat page is coming very soon next Wednesday it's hopefully going to be up and I'll give news of that on Tuesday in our news vlog so do look out for that one um, and if you are new to this channel do subscribe down below um, it's great to have subscribers we've got 38 at the moment but I'd love plenty more um, and looking for at least 50 by mid-March so please do help that dream come true um, by subscribing to the channel. Do like the video as well if you're enjoying what I'm doing and also share with friends, family and also on social networking sites because I do love that and it's always great to see support like that. As you can tell I'm not sounding too great at the moment. Hopefully I'll be better for the weekend um, and for the weekend of racing. Well, we've got a great re weekend especially on Saturday from Newbury and Doncaster where we'll go through some of the races there on Saturday morning. But thanks very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you on Saturday morning.